How's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, the Awkward Commentator. Welcome back to yet another episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Last time on Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, we actually took on o Nitrous Oxide for the first time, and we managed to defeat him very easily, I might add. Regardless, we also had to sit through a 21 minute long credit sequence, which whoever thought that was a good idea, I, I have a few words for you. Regardless, this time we're actually going to be starting off on the gym cups over here. We have each, so those CTR, the uh, CTR tokens that we, yeah, the CTR tokens that, we, that we've been collecting. Notice how they each have their own different colors. Well, we each have, we have four tokens of each color. And if you manage to get all CTR tokens, you will unlock these gym cups right here. These are basically, this is basically Grand Freak mode of Crash Nitro Kart, or, yeah, no, not Crash Nitro Kart, Crash Nitro Fueled. Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. I can't even remember what the hell the name of this game is. So, what do you say we start from left to right, starting with the red, ending with the purple. First up, the red cup, my favorite color. Let's go. And yes. We're going to be racing through these tracks once again. Except the only difference is, we're actually racing through four tracks. I don't think all the tracks are going... I don't think each gym cup is going to have each track in each separate little area. I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, this is, like, as I said, this is Grand Prix mode. After each race, you'll have a score system, and once the final race is over, depending on how many points you have earned, depends, will determine your placement. If you get... <clears throat> wow. I do apologize. I actually just finished eating dinner a little bit ago. I probably should not have started recording a video. I should not have started a recording session after I had just eaten dinner, but is it okay? I have nothing else to do for the rest of the night, and I'm actually really bored. And I really want to record some Crash Team Nitro Fueled, because I have been dying to just complete this series right here. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a blast. And once I finish this series... Well, my goal is to record all these videos at once. I said I was going to record all the videos at once the other day, but I got called into work, unfortunately, so I didn't have time to actually finish the videos. And then when I got home from work, I had to go straight to bed because I had to work a closing shift, and then I had to work an opening shift the next day, which is never fun, by the way. Having to close and then open the next night or the next day, it's not fun. Because you basically have to go straight to bed when you get home, and that's exactly what I did. I just came inside, walked, in, walked into my place, said hi to my cat, and then I was like, alright, time for bed, and I just laid down, laid down in bed, and I just fell asleep. <laughs> so that sums up my night the other day. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. I made a little extra money, and it was just three hours, so I can't really complain a whole lot. Well, regardless, we are going to try to get the W. We are going to get that red gem, and you have to get first place. You have to get, your, your placement has to be first at the end of the standings. At the end of the standings, at the end of the cup. As you can see right here, we got first place, so we got nine points. I don't know what the other points score system is, but I'm assuming it's going to be a little similar to Mario Kart's. Regardless, onward to the second track, not cup. I'm not looking forward to a certain track again, and I think you guys know what track I might be talking about. And no, it's not Oxide Station, despite how much trouble the CTR challenge of that track gave me. No, it's Dragon Mines. My goodness, I do not want to race on- WHAT?! I am in first place, and you gave me an Uka Uka Mask in first place? Unnecessary, but you know what? I will take it. Thank you very much, if this means I get a huge lead and a huge advantage over everyone else, I will happily take that. Nice little TNT crate right there. I did not mean to fire that off. Oh my goodness. So playing Crash Nitro Kart, when you have the bubble or the barrier, well, it's a bubble barrier, so it's, or it's you know, it's both. So in Crash Nitro Kart, you know how in Crash Team Racing you can actually fire the bubble off and it kind of acts like, not really a homing projectile, but it's actually able to target someone and actually hit them. Well, in Crash Nitro Kart, it doesn't do that. At least the GameCube version, I'm assuming the PlayStation version too, but in the Game Boy Advance version of Crash Nitro Kart, I'm pretty sure the bubble, you're actually able to fire the bubble off, but in Crash Nitro Kart, no, you're not. I mean, you can still use items with a bubble, and if you have the green bubble, it will fade over time, 
But if you have the blue one, it's pretty much permanent until someone runs into you. I don't know why they made that a thing in Crash Nitro Kart. Honestly, I don't like it. I like being able to fire my bubble off like so, like that. It's a nice little projectile, and it actually deals decent damage if it manages to hit somebody. But in Crash Nitro Kart, they got rid of that for some freaking reason. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. Bouncing off a turtle, because that's totally something that we do. What is this, freaking Mario? Then again, Mario actually kills the turtles when he jumps off them. Don't jump on turtles in real life, because it will kill them. Turtles are cute, and we do not want to cause harm to any turtles. No turtles are hurt in the in this recording right here. I don't honestly I don't even think those guys get hurt. They look like they live to do that and they look like they enjoy it. And I don't enjoy hit running into a potion thingy when I had my tin lumber fruit and now I don't have a red one anymore, but that is a okay in my books, I suppose, because there's another one down here. And that's not it, that's a freaking TNT crate thingy. Speaking of TNT crate thingy, I have been playing a lot of Crash Nitro Kart recently since I did get my order for DK Oldies. My nice little Orange Spice GameCube Orange controller, it's beautiful. It works like a friggin' dream. And Crash Nitro Kart is a lot of fun. But I'm on the CNK challenges. It's not CTR, it's CNK, because Crash Nitro Kart. And I'm still in the first area. And some of the letters are in the most jerkish spots. I cannot describe it. If I ever do a series on that game, I'm probably gonna rage a lot, because it took a lot just for me to get the first C and K token. Alright, Lord, be with me on the next two races. I told you guys, we had two tracks from the beginning area in Sandy Beach, and now we got a track from Glacier Park. Not Glacier Peak, as I used to call it. I still can't believe I did that in all those freaking episodes. I caught it Park in the right in the first episode that we went into that area, but I caught it wrong in every other episode because I'm a freaking dingy like that. Uh oh. Hey! Potion for the freaking win. I'm so happy that those things actually count as blockage, you know, protect that. We're not projectiles. As defense, in a way. Oh no! Oh my goodness, they are just after me with those freaking missiles, aren't they? Speaking of missiles, missiles and Crash Nitro Kart seem to be the absolute dumbest things in the entire game. I mean, they're kind of stupid in Crash Team Racing as well, but in Crash Nitro Kart, I feel like the missiles just. I don't even know how to describe it. They just tend to go in their own freaking direction, they don't even freaking hit the enemy. Also, there is one feature in Crash Nitro Kart that I do enjoy. You have teammates, because, well, you have to pick between Team Bandicoot and Team Neocortex in Adventure Mode. And depending on which team you pick, and depending on who you pick for the race, you have a teammate. You can't hit the teammate, and if the teammate actually gets first place and you don't, it still counts as a win, and you'll still get the trophy or whatever you're doing. However, they have a really good feature called Team Up, basically where you can get a frenzy of items for a few seconds, and your teammate will just constantly give you items after item. It's pretty much a random item, depending on your placement, too, to determine the item as well, because I've got an Aku Aku mask, because I am playing as Cream, cream Team Bandicoot and Crash Nitro Kart. So, honestly, that is a really good feature. I kind of wish this was here, but then again, this racing game came out first, so it makes sense why they added in a new feature into Crash Nitro Kart. I also got another game too, I got LEGO Star Wars the video game. I'm not a big Star Wars fan at all, but something in me really wanted to play this game. I'll exp explain more in the next race, so let's go. Papu's Pyramid. So we went from two tracks in Insanity Beach to a track in Glacier Park, now to a track in the Lost Ruins. Speaking of loss, I might actually lose this one, but I don't know if it matters. Actually, it might. I've got a perfect score so far at 27. If I manage to get first place on this, I'll get a perfect score throughout the entire cup, and I hope I can do it. I hope I can freaking catch up to these losers. Out of my way, Tiny's coming through. I'll actually just take that. Ooh, I could do this too. Wait. Making my way downtown. Driving fast. Faces fast and I'm homebound. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, thank you, Uka Uka Mass. You saved my freaking life right there. Oh, nope. Do not get eaten by the stupid plant thingy. 
Tiny has a gift indeed. Regardless, I was talking about the Star Lego Star Wars the video game I got. It's for the GameCube and also it's also on the PlayStation 2 as well. And for some reason, when I when I was watching some of the DK Oda videos, that game in particular just caught my eye. And I've never seen Star Wars in my life. Bailey has been wanting to get me to watch Star Wars for the longest time. And something told me, hey, you should get this game. It's only 20 bucks. And I got the game. It's got episodes 1, 2, and 3 in the game. I don't know exactly what that means. But honestly, I made it through chapter 1 of the first episode, and it was really fun. I have no idea who the characters are, aside from R2-D2, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker. I think I've talked about this already, but I'm just looking for stuff to talk about at this point. I mean, regardless, I had fun playing through the first chapter, and I'm honestly excited to get back into it. I should... Be, I, you know, I could be playing it right now, but... I just want to get some recording done, that way once Xenoblade Chronicles 3 comes out, which it comes out in four days, I can't believe it's already almost here, so once that out, I could, once that is out, I'll put all my time and focus into that, and until then, I'll at least have some videos recorded and out for you guys to watch, and it'll all work out. I just gotta do a bunch of recording and I gotta make sure that my voice is up to it and make sure that I can find topics to talk about. But I'm sure I can do it. I can just ramble on about random stuff. And we are victorious! We got a perfect score of 36. Onward to the award ceremony, give me my gym. <laughs> We've unlocked... Pink Ripper Roo. That's awesome. I think we unlock a different color skin for other characters throughout this. I know we unlock a new character in one of these cups. I'm not going to spoil which one, but we do unlock a brand new character after we complete one of these cups. So thank you everybody for watching. Next time on Crash Team Racing, Racing Nitro Fueled, we're going to be taking on the Green Gym Cup. Hope to see you guys back then, and I hope each and every single one of you watch this video. It's a fantastic day. Stay fresh, everybody.